Alright everyone, this is Zero Budget Geek and welcome back to Friday Night Magic Duels, the show where I misplay decks created by the community. In this episode, we're taking a look at a deck created by Sword of the Morgan of the Magic Duels subreddit and this is a black and red uh, artifact aggro deck. I call it Walking Scrap. So let's go ahead and take a look how it's put together. It's pretty interesting, has uh, some interesting interesting recursion uh, strategies to it so right off the bat we start off with two walking ballistas just a uh, very good all-around creature generally we use it as removal uh, we have two Bomat Couriers, just a really good uh, uh, one drop that can uh, possibly get us some cards later on. We have two Scrap Heap Scroungers, just a recurring uh, creature. We have three Rune Servitors. We have one Heart of the Kieran, just a nice vehicle there. We have two Smugglers Copters, because they're just great, one of the best vehicles. We have uh, three Harness Lightnings. We have three Thopter Engineers to give us some haste. Two Scrap Trawlers. So more recursion three chief of the foundry pump our guys up three foundry inspectors just get more guys out to the field two pia's revolution which is quite an interesting card and either lets us get recursion or do damage to the opponent and we have three unlicensed in disintegration three treasure keepers uh and one sky sovereign console flagship we have one swamp 10 mountains two smoldering marsh one west vale abbey two ruins of Orin reef two Dragon Skull Summit, one Inventor's Fair, three Aether Hubs, and three Evolving Wilds. All right, let's uh, see this deck in action and see if I can play halfway decently. All right, so we get to start things off and not, we got a one drop there, but I prefer to drop this. Uh, this is, I like the one drop there. So we're going to keep this hand and hope for the best here. So we'll go with the Aether Drop right there, or Aether Hub rather, and go with this Bomat Courier. And he's got haste, so we can attack with him right away. So let's go ahead and do that. Confirm. Hopefully he doesn't. Well, we don't know what he puts on there. Hopefully it's not a land that we need. I would have liked to put this Ruins of Ore and Reef first, but I like. Getting that early attack with this guy is pretty good. Let's see if our opponent's got anything. Nope. Getting a good early lead with this deck is very good. Alright, so since we don't have anything to play turn two, then I will go with the Ruins of Orn Reef now. And then attack. I should have actually attacked first. That was a bit of a mistake. I could see a Fatal Push coming out here right now. Nope. All right. Good, 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 good. All right. And we'll pass the turn. So now next turn here, I think we'll probably thop the engineer. He gets a lone rider. First strike. First strike, right? Lifelink. So that means our Bomat Courier isn't going to be attacking unless it's not really what I wanted to see. Uh, but we can uh, strike in the air. I could harness lightning, but then that'd be stupid. Uh, then I don't. Yeah, that's no good. That's not worth doing. Let us. Uh, let's see. Drop the mountain. I can sacrifice this to draw two cards on the attack, but I don't think I want to do that. I think we're gonna just drop the drop the engineer and attack with the one one right. Right. Could put the walking ballista to kill that, but I'm not too worried about that right now. Alright, Thump the Engineer. And, and then we attack with it. Man, if this didn't have lifelink, I mean first strike rather. Alright. We'll swing in the air. All right, and that's it. We're not gonna play that walking ballista. So let's see if this guy has a way to pump this up. All right, it's not, it's not too worrisome. 
I imagine he's good. He did not attack with that. Oh, right. We have, I have a 1-3 blocker there. All right. So here, Swamp of Mountain. I can play the Dragon Skull Summit. I can then play the Treasure Keeper. I really wished. I think I really want to get rid of that emissary there. Hmm. Then I can play the Rune Servitor and attack. That that's actually not not too terrible. Harness lightning that thing. I really would like to get the treasure keeper out now, but this thing is a pain. Although I could just drop out the treasure keeper now, attack with it, and he probably won't block it. So I'll blast that away and the rune servitor. All right. I think that's fine. Let's get you out of the way here. Spend two. Put the room servitor. And then we will go in for the attack. Him and him. And that'll be it. Could have probably gone with the Bowman Courier, but I really don't want to lo lose those two cards that we have underneath. I'd rather sacrifice them uh, for the card draw. And I may actually do that coming up. He's kind of outlived his usefulness. She She's not good to see. Um, I would need six mana in order to kill her. Alright. Or an unlicensed disintegration. That, that just gets rid of her completely and now can I play this and keep a red up well I have the aether hub we need to get rid of her all right let's pop her it's not really how I wanted it to do it and then I can still still sacrifice this guy so let's go into the attack And I think we go crazy with everyone. Um, I don't think attack with that one. I think we do attack with this though. Confirm. And I'll probably sack her for the card draw if he blocks it. Oh, I have to discard my hand though. Uh, that's probably still good. Well. Still drawing a bunch of cards. It's not really that much better. I forgot that the Bowman Curry, I gotta uh, discard my hand, but that, I think that was still good. I did get rid of the Walking Ballista, but we have so many ways to get it back that that's why I'm not too worried about it. This guy here, what's he gotta do to flip it? Sacrifice it. All right, he's gotta sacrifice something. Which he can't, which he can do. And then when it transforms, what is it? Nothing I'm too worried about. All right, so I think here, uh, we can Foundry Inspector that cost me three, making this guy a two. Then I can play him. Actually, what's for Abby? I could actually. He's got white though, so he's got ways to exile. Do we dump our hand now? See, I'm. The Bowmat Courier might have been a little bit uh, too early. Okay, so I play the Foundry Inspector. Now I don't know if I want to attack into all that, being that I could just sacrifice them all for this dude but being that he's playing white i don't know that that's necessarily the best thing so let's foundry inspector that'll let me play the 
chief of the foundry for two and let's flip this around and then I can make I can make uh, what do I want to do I think I make the foundry inspector a five yeah our opponents quit yeah let's uh, let's do this Oh, and I think we put it on this guy. Making this guy 2, 4, 3, 4. Could have been good, but I like... I like having this right on the attack right now. Boom. Boom. And we keep her back. Actually, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So if he blocks this... And... This guy, he takes two, three, four, five, but still loses. Yeah, I think that's worth it. He can block my good stuff, but he's got to block. Oh, how did he do? Oh, he just barely survived. All oh, right, the lifelink. Uh, he'll swing for one. Gain some life, but that's really not enough. He gets another life linker. But we we've got him in the air unless he's got unless he's got something there. So we play it like he's got an answer. We got a top engineer, might as well. I don't think I want to pop this because he, he would have a he could have a way to sacrifice it. So put that makes that and then we just attack with all confirm let's just do this because we can oh I can't choose that oh I gotta choose but well, whatever make it this guy there he goes uh, teleport sacrifices an attacking creature gonna gain some life I guess that's what I was worried about oh did he just go for the life all right that's fine and that's why I didn't want to sacrifice everybody for the uh, big profane prince all right he's just <laughs> trying to find ways to survive but there really isn't now. Especially when we do them dirty like this. Alright, let's just do it this way. And there you go. Alright, thanks for playing, Game Lord. Alright, so we get to start things off here. And, well, this is not that great. We don't have... An early play, I think we could probably do better. Let's draw a new hand. That's not that much better. I don't want to go to fewer cards. We'll keep this. Let's go ahead and lead off with the ruin since it uh, has to come into play tapped. And then we've got some removal. We've got foundry inspector. So this could turn into something, but I'd prefer to have some of our early plays. A two drop. It'd be nice to draw a two drop right now, but we didn't. So we will just go ahead and plop down this mountain and then just say go. We could have just put an Aether Hub, keep our opponent guessing as to what colors, but I don't think that's going to affect things that much. He goes with a Sinister Concoction, lets him uh, destroy our creature. So that's not good. Let us we'll throw out the Aether Hub, I guess. And we'll bring out the Foundry Inspector. See if that uh, entices him to uh, use this. Just got a car, sacrifice since to get destroy a creature. So now we want to kind of hold back on the Chief of the Foundry. Let him uh, pop this. 
Let's see what he does. All right, masquerade. Ten creatures you control are first strike, and then they get bonuses. So that's very ungood for us. All right, does he kill this? Is the question. It's just a destroy, right? Destroy target creature. Um. All right, let's do it. Confirm. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't have the mana for it. So. All right, let's. I don't think it matters what we plop down here. We'll plop down another Foundry Inspector. I don't want to put the Chief of the Foundry because he he will, he will shoot it. Let's go ahead and do this. And we can actually play the Chief of the Foundry now, but then not gonna do that. Not while we know he's got a, a kill spell there. So our best chance, yeah, there he goes. There he goes, he's gonna kill that one and then attack with something, with haste. Yep, four, three haste. And then it'll get plus one, plus one on him. That's dangerous. But we got an unlicensed disintegration to deal with that. And I think we can play the chief plus keep the unlicensed disintegration up. Right? Do we have enough? Let's count the ways here. A scrap heap scrounger is cute. All right. So this costs two. Uh, and then we can keep three up for the unlicensed disintegration. So chief I want to play uh, it doesn't matter we can attack first but no 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 we will play him first so chief and go into the attack we'll attack for an extra point of damage and say go at this point I could put this guy out. These, this guy has... No, it makes no sense putting this guy out. So we'll just hold up the unlicensed disintegration. Show me what you've got. Lightning axe. That's fine. And is he going to bring another incorrigible youths? That he does. This is gonna hurt. Alright, well, we'll blast this one away. And he takes damage. And then it'll get a plus one, plus one. We have an unlicensed disintegration for that. But we're kind of running out of another unlicensed disintegration. Well, uh, let us go into the attack. Confirm. Now, we possibly could kill him with these unlicensed disintegrations. Let's put this down for one. And then we can tap this, right? Yeah. And then we'll hold up on license disintegration. I imagine he's got a way to kill this. He might be kind of hard pressed to kill them both, which is fine. Oh, uh, never mind. He's got a way to do that. So he'll crack that, I'm sure. Show me what you've got. Alright, during his end step, we will pop you. Now, he 
kind of wants to sacrifice that if he can. I don't think he. No. Come on, put out another creature. What's he doing? He has quit. We will continue playing. We'll finish this out. All right. I was nervous there. Uh, we will go into the attack. And that should do it. He can kill one, but either one of these gets through, kills him. All right. Thanks for playing, Junior Fisher 08. All right. So we get to start things off. And hmm, this is not bad at all. I'll keep this hand. So I think we'll lead off with an evolving wilds. Two more basic lands. Two more basic lands. Okay, that's fine. Evolving wilds into mountain, copter, and then foundry inspector attack with the copter. All right. Evolving wilds. Pass the turn. And I, you know what? I'm just going to crack this now because I have a bad habit of forgetting. We will go ahead and just grab this swamp. The one lonely swamp that we have in our deck. And yeah, generally you want to wait, but Poon is playing a big deck over there, so hopefully this goes through quite smoothly. Mountain Smuggler's Copter. And that's it for now. Next turn, Foundry Inspector plus the attack. And then we'll go from there. What does our opponent have? Now, some people have said, you know, why are you playing when you know, when they got like these big decks? Why do you finish? You know, why do you why do you do it? Uh, let's go ahead and put this foundry inspector. But you know, I'm just playing whatever, whatever you know, whatever comes up. Now he could. He could send this back to my hand. But if I get the attack off first, I still get the card draw. So I do want to use this ability. I will take the Piers Revolution. I'll go ahead and let go of this mountain there. We've got plenty of lands in this deck. Actually, I I'm dubious about the fact that this deck has like 25 lands. I, I think that might be a bit too much. What do we got? Grip of the Royal. Okay. Probably. Oh, he didn't have enough. That would have been nice to do on the Smuggler's Copter. But he's going to do it anyway. Tap target creature. All right. He's just making it so that I can't use the Copter. But if I draw anything else, I get to use the Copter like a Scrap Heap Scrounger. Um, and. Nice. This is. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go ahead and put down the Smoldering Marsh. And I think we can play both. Yeah, both of these. So let's do the Scrap Heap Scrounger first for one. Let's pilot the Copter. And yeah, I guess we're playing with. Uh, playing against a noob, unfortunately. Hate to say that, but. But let's see how the deck does. Hopefully, this is just like a steamroll. Uh, you do want to use this ability. We'll discard. Uh, what did I get? Another mountain? All right. All right. So this should be over pretty quickly. Pierre's revolution means now that unless he wants to start taking a bunch of damage from our guys dying, he's going to have to let us recur them. This is actually a pretty interesting card in this deck. Alright, uh, that does, actually that does help him. As long as you control a swamp. Wait, he played that? What did he play? Oh, he did play one swamp there. Uh, I thought he was mono blue. Alright, so what do we do here? Um, I could play the walking ballista for two, that doesn't do anything. We could harness lightning that, that's not enough actually. It's only three. He's a two four. Um, 
Hmm. I definitely want to get the attacks going. Maybe I pilot the copter with the foundry. Attack with this guy. He blocks. And then I can either walk in ballista or lightning. Yeah. Alright, let's do this. And let's go into the attack. Yeah, someone uses this ability. A foundry inspector. Uh, I think I'll let go of this mountain. We'll probably block this. Choose an opponent. took the damage which means now I can actually foundry inspector or I put the ballista for, t for two and then yeah let's put the ballista f uh, for, do we want to spend two or even just one Okay, here we go. Boop. Choose value for X. I think I want to make it one. And then we're going to actually remove the plus one, plus one to kill that. And then this triggers. So he's either got to take some more damage or let me get it back. He let me get it back because he doesn't want to take that damage. And then... Oh, wait! Oh, god damn it. I wanted to play the next guy. What happened? Did I run out of time? Figuring all that out? Shit. I wanted to put the second foundry inspector. Selling time. Well, that's no good. That was terrible. I think I ran out of time there. We still are going to be attacking for six coming up. Puts these guys. Uh, do I kill that with the harness lightning? Um, no, because I can walk in ballista. Oh, this is disgusting. <laughs> we can... We can play the walking ballista, sacrifice it to kill that, and then we he's going to have to let us get it back. So we pay one, use it to crew the copter. Our creature or player. Yeah, we'll kill the creature. Choose an opponent. Obviously, he's gonna let me get it back. Otherwise, I really wish this. Hit. Oh, he took the damage. All right, well that's game. All right, that's game. All right, well, short enough. I think that was. <laughs> uh, yes. Discard that. Doesn't matter. Game is over. Alright, thanks for playing, Rhino. Alright, so we get to start things off here. And three lands. This could be interesting. Um, Keep this hand. Oh, I really want to turn one Bomat Courier. Oh, actually, this, this works. This is fine. Yeah, turn one Bomat Courier. Turn two evolving wilds. We don't have a turn two play, so it's 
It's fine. for one and then probably turn two evolving while it's turn three I can chief I guess renegade map or smuggler's copter would be really nice to get out right now shit um Hmm. So more important to have the third. The, uh, I think I really want this copter. Although I really like what I've got going on over here. But the copter is just so good. Let's attack. I might draw into a land. Yeah. Confirm. For one, I think we, we have to go copter here. I, I, I don't know why I was thinking otherwise. That's the play there. Copter. I might join to a land and then I can actually play Chief of the Foundry. And even if I don't, uh, all right, that's fine. It's a 0 4 that does nothing right now. So looks like he's going Delirium strategy. Renegade map will help him with that. He might as well sacrifice that now. I don't think I want to discard that Evolving Wilds. Scrap Heap Scrounger is fine to discard. So let's... We didn't draw a land, so I can't play even if I play the Evolving Wilds. So let's... Crew this. Go into the attack. Attack with that. Yes, I'm going to use this ability. What do we draw? A rune servitor. I'll let go of scrap heap there. Drop down this evolving wilds. And actually, I can play this rune servitor right now. So, we shall do that. And pass the turn. And I got to remember at, during his end step to sacrifice this evolving wilds. We're going to use it to get the swamp that we need. But well, we don't need it now, but we're going to need it at some point in our deck. Right, main phase two. And end step. We'll go ahead and crack this. And get the one lonely swamp. Now, a chief of the foundry here doesn't really help us right because it becomes a three this is a two um i can play this i kind of really i think i really want oh well, yeah we do chief because th this hits for more than um uh, although if i play the no i don't have enough to play chief and the other guy so we'll play the chief Uh, we'll use the chief to crew the copter. You gotta wait if you're trying to kill this. this is, see, this is why I would have liked to have Pierre's Revolution down. Alright. Well, he's definitely got something to kill this. But I think we call it anyway. for the attack anyway he blocks a 3-3 takes two to the face this is gonna become a 3-4 at some point and a 
that's it for now. Really wish I had the PS Revolution down, but that's that's okay. The the copter did its duty. It did what it needed to do. He doesn't have delirium yet. He's trying to get delirium for this too. That should get it for him. Although can't do it just yet. Top the engineer is nice, but I shit. I really think we need to get Piers Revolution. If I if I put the engineer now, then I'm attacking with three three. How many counters this guy's got? Is it worth sacrificing him? Piers Revolution. Yeah. I think we go this way. The engineer, oh, it's so good, but I think we're gonna we're gonna hang tight. We're gonna pierce revolution, and we go for all-out attack. If she flips, she kills something, right? Let me destroy entire creature. So. I think we attack with everyone here. Now, do I pop this is the question. Probably will. I mean, let's see. Blocks there. Is he going to take the two? All right. So then we will do this. And then you got to either take damage or let me get my courier back. I imagine he'll probably let me take it back. That revolution, man. That thing is pretty nice. Especially in a situation like this. I'm getting the cards that he took the damage. Alright, and... It doesn't matter what we put here. Let's put the Dragon Skull Summit. I can't play anything else. But we're at 20 life, so I'm not worried about defense right now. He will probably get Delirium, flip this, kill my chief. Although now, that's a problem for him. Now he's got to get rid of the revolution first. All right. I imagine he's definitely going to get delirium now. And this is all it does just becomes a 3-4, which is nice. And then she gets to kill something. But again, you know, either I get it back or he's going to take damage for that. Um. Oh, he's got to pay to get that effect. All right, swings for two. That's fair. Although now I can kind of sit back. As long as I got the PS Revolution, I can sort of sit back. It's because it's play tapped, unfortunately. I could bring this dude back. And I just might do that. So, how much do I need for that? I need two and two. can't block so we want to wait on that so then we just root server tour now attacking I don't think makes sense so 
So, Rune Servitor. We'll play these ruins because it comes to play tapped and then wait on this. Yeah, there's no reason to pop that early. And we don't need to attack here, we'll just hang back. I mean, I could, but then he'd block with that and lose that. And then probably let me get it back to that. That probably would have helped him more than me. He's got more cards more cards in hand than me. He's got his delirium going. This is death touch, but that's fine. Yeah, I'd rather him, use, him do his attacks. Are you going to pop her? But at this point, it probably makes sense for him to do that. Yep. Let's me get it back. He attacks with everyone. Um, we block. A hasty dude. Just that one. This guy's uh, oh, it's just haste. Oh, hold on a second. Creatures with power two or less can't block this turn. Uh huh. All right. Uh, want to block? Hello. Oh, we can't block at all. Oh shit, we can't block at all. It's not that he he can't be blocked. We just can't block at all. Well, that's terrible. That is Teddy Blay. Although we can. Chief of the Foundry. We don't we don't get in for fatal here though, I think. Doctor Engineer. Let's pop down this A the Hub. Three six. Put the top the engineer. Chief of the Foundry. I need to do like this. Chief of the Foundry. And then I need to make somebody big. I need to tap this on somebody. One of these wound servitors? No, I can't. I can't. I can only do it on one of these guys. Uh, well, I'm not going to attack with the chief. Uh, so we put it on the flyer. And then he can counterattack for seven. We're attacking with everyone. So he blocks this. He takes six, seven, eight. I I have to attack with this guy. All right. I think that's how we do it, right? Did I did I do that correctly? Because even if he blocks this, all right, he has to block there, and he has to block that. He takes three, six, seven, eight. And there we go. Thank you for playing Wakusa. All right.
guys, well, thanks for watching me misplay some magic duels. If uh, you have some critique on this deck or ways that you think could make it better, please comment down below. And as always, constructive criticism is always welcome. And if you have some deck lists that you would like to see played on this channel, be sure to submit them either down in the comments or you can search for my email, zerobudgetgeek at gmail.com i will definitely answer all incoming correspondence so guys thanks for watching and i'll see you soon